going guys Sharblox here back at it again with the roblox videos and today is going to be a little bit different because we are going to be checking out the first ever roblox event the main thing that i would like to show you guys about this event are the prizes that people won from it because the prizes are honestly so strange some of them are still free even until this very day the first ever roblox event was known as the homestead furniture making contest which started back in january of 2007 this is a big piece of roblox's history being the event that started off every single future roblox contest competition and events as well i guess it's kind of mad if you think about it i saw this tweet a while ago from rbx event hunters and this kind of inspired me to make this video so they said the first roblox event the homestead furniture making contest was the first ever roblox event in january 17th to 20th of 2007 this was basically a furniture building contest and the nine winners each got a custom t-shirt so yep you guys heard right the prize was a custom t-shirt and not even a t-shirt which was made by roblox they had to make it themselves the prize was basically getting the t-shirt on their roblox character and i will get into that in a second i was trying to find more information about this so i went over to the roblox wiki and as we can see over on here there is quite a lot of information it looks like we can see the inside and the outside of the happy home but yeah this page is pretty useful it has all of the winners so it looks like people made a tv and a sofa some bunk beds a country style dining room table some speakers like a stereo system a home entertainment system it looks like we've got a bed and we've got an arcade machine these items are very classic i'm sure a lot of you guys watching this video have probably seen these items before or maybe you've even used them before anyway what i did next is i went ahead and i have a looked at some of the grand prize winners because some of these winners haven't exactly played roblox in a very long time i did actually find that the original blog post from 2007 over on the roblox blog so guys take a look at this prizes all winners all winning models get immortalized in the roblox toolbox thousands will see your work and hundreds will make use of it damn those numbers seem so small grand prize the contestant with the most solid portfolio of work submitted to the contest being either a collection of models or one totally awesome model as judged by the roblox staff will win a one-time customized character of their own design this includes selecting parts and colors and optional submission of a 107 by 108 pixel torso decal so long as the graphic is not copyrighted one time means we'll set it up the way you want but we don't guarantee any sort of permanence or support in the future when we roll out the customizable avatars for everyone so yeah these prizes were kind of crazy because this whole kind of like selecting body parts and selecting a t-shirt thing was before customizable avatars was even available so if you had a unique avatar at this time with like custom body colors and like a t-shirt you must have been like the coolest roblox player ever i'll be sure to leave a link to this blog down below in the description it kind of tells you all of the rules and stuff like that if you guys are interested but i just want to make it clear just in case anyone gets confused this event ended 14 years ago a few people got confused over on the twitter post that's kind of funny i guess anyway here is one of the winners dr waffles and this guy hasn't changed his avatar since he won so yes his avatar right now is actually what he won from the contest so he chose orange arms and legs he chose a white torso and a yellow head fair enough his name is dr waffles i guess his character kind of looks like a waffle i mean yeah it does actually so that was a pretty good choice i believe he did also get a t-shirt but the t-shirt actually got unselected from his character i think because it got changed into a t-shirt when the customizable update came around so yeah basically when roblox released the avatar editor it kind of unselected his t-shirt to be fair if you want this you can just go ahead and download it it's free so you can literally recreate this guy's avatar if you want to and you've got one of the winning prizes from the first ever roblox event so i'm sure some of you guys are probably thinking well these prizes are terrible they put in all this effort and they got a t-shirt and they were able to change their body colors well yeah of today today's roblox avatar standards i guess it was kind of bad but remember back then that was really cool but somebody else took advantage of this prize and they made their roblox avatar a lot cooler this tweet is from diner roblox facts over on twitter and they said rox25 was one of the winners of the homestead building contest and got a custom avatar for it like the other winners had and submitted his figure transparent he would have appeared as in the images below left image is missing the torso picture
picture. Right, so this guy, Rox25, he was very smart because when he edited his avatar, he set the body parts as transparent. I think they had to edit them inside of Roblox Studio. And he also chose a Bionicle t-shirt. This guy was clever. He knew what he was doing. The other players had very kind of like generic avatars of like basic body colors. But this guy had transparent parts. That is honestly so cool. Roblox Facts also confirmed it and said this was before avatar customization, by the way. You used to be able to customize and submit your figure model to be updated if you won a contest. Fun fact, here's at the bottom in another pic. Is he in this screenshot? Oh yeah, he is. He's down here. So I wonder why his body parts weren't transparent in this image. I guess this image is of a later date. So yeah, guys, they were literally able to edit their figure model inside of Roblox Studio. So they could literally select it. They could go on properties. I know it's a bit different now. I mean, this is like the latest 2021 version of Roblox Studio. But you guys know what I mean. They could pretty much customize their characters like however they wanted and then submit it to Roblox. And that's when this guy decided to do transparent parts, which is honestly very, very cool. Here you go. That's my avatar for the 2007 contest. This is probably what I would have made. That looks pretty sick. And wow, so it really was transparent. From Rox25 uploaded in 2007, this is my prize from the Homestead contest. It's transparent and it has Baraki on it. What the heck is that? Is that that Bionicle thing that he was talking about? Or like the t-shirt that he had selected? Yeah, I guess it is. I think I had one of those sets when I was like a very young kid. So yeah, fair enough. That's pretty sick. Now does Rox25 still play Roblox today? I guess we're going to find out. I don't usually accept friend requests. Last online two months ago. Yes, I won a domino crown back in the day. Oh, this was the guy that got scammed and sold his domino crown for like $50 or something. RIP to this guy. Oh, well, that's pretty sick though. At least he's one of the OG winners. I know that some of you guys are probably wanting some of these original prizes for free. So what I've done is I found the image file of these t-shirts and I will be linking those down below in this video's description. So if you guys would like to take them for free and upload them onto your own Roblox avatar, then simply just right click the image, go ahead and save it. And then you can modify it if you want to. You can do whatever you want with it. You can even just upload it to Roblox as it is. So yeah, this is the image file for the waffles. Like I was saying, you can literally just right click it, save image as, save it to your computer, and then just go over to the create tab and just upload it. This person called Cooper also won, and this is his image file. Again, if you want it, you can just go ahead and save it. This guy called Caddy also won. It looks like this guy chose a robot. Mr. Doombringer was also one of the winners. However, his logo kind of looks a bit strange because on his 2006 character, the logo was like really big on his avatar, but this version is like shrunk. It's like really small. It's kind of like accurate to how the Doom logo actually is. I've got no idea why this t-shirt shrunk. Kind of strange actually. Maybe that was because of the update where they changed those torso images into t-shirts. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. And because the classic version has shrunk, I did end up re-uploading it. So yep, I made the kind of like original version, I guess. Kind of like the stretched out Doom logo. Yeah, I think this looks pretty cool. Doombringer definitely had one of the coolest kind of like custom 2007 Roblox characters. Again, if you guys want this, just go ahead and save the image. So there we have it, guys. I guess that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys found this one interesting. When I was researching this, it ended up being a lot more interesting than I expected. So yep, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.